if you're not comfortable with playing with food, then you could do sensory play with shaving foam instead. I think there's a lot of children that could happily spend a good two hours in the bath with some shaving foam squirted out. <laughs> but I've got chocolate mousse here because I do like, I don't mind playing with food. And I think that children can be quite aware of contexts. I am sitting at my table at the moment, but um, if they're in their bath or on a big mat on the floor or outside, then they they can kind of know that there's different rules at the moment to what there might be at the table. Uh, <laughs> this is really fun. <laughs> And it's just such a great exploration for from tiny babies up to older toddlers and grown-ups. <laughs> really using your hands, learning about your impact on the world, how different materials react. And this one is not only a tactile experience, um, smells deliciously chocolatey as well. Um, and I feel like the more kids get stuck into dirty things or messy things like this, the more open and um, comfortable they'll be with lots of different sensory experiences as they get older. <laughs> of course, the advantage of using food things is that it's always going to be really nice and safe on your skin, on your baby's skin, and also if they accidentally eat some, then that's safe as well.